Now, both of you and I, we're not scientists, but we understand biology. And so does this unhappy cyclist, Jacqueline Paul, who came third in a cycling race in Pennsylvania, losing out to a trans woman who came first. It follows as three-time Olympic women cyclist Inga Thompson has called on women cyclists to protest any competition that has a biological male competing such as the uh, Tour of uh, the Gila Race. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one, which was won last week by, you guessed it, a trans woman, Austin Killips. Uh, these are real example of women's spaces being eroded. But where are the people speaking out against this? We've got Riley Gaines. We've got a couple of athletes, current and former, who are saying something. But so many of the high-profile female athletes, Rachel, are terrified to say anything because they know the activists are going to go after them. That's right. And look, there's been an underwhelming response from the female athletes that Riley Gaines has reached out to on social media asking for their support in this matter. And no doubt it's because they're in fear of losing their jobs and fear of, you know, um, being vilified and cancelled. But the reality is we're not going to see enough movement on this issue until sports professionals actually stand up on this. And, you know, the, the types of athletes that... Riley Gaines reached out to are people like Ronda Rousey, who knows full well that how dangerous it is for mm. men to be competing, competing against women. She herself refused to compete against trans MMA fighter Fallon Fox. And Serena Williams was another one who, again, has also said that mm. men's and women's tennis are completely different and she would not want to compete against men because they would, you know, beat her within, you know, five minutes of playing. So these women who know full well, and I yeah. think they have a responsibility to their sports and to the female athletes that are going to come after them and who are not going to have the same fair playing field that they have managed to have themselves. Well, the Venus, uh, Venus and uh, Serena Williams, the Williams sisters, know this all too well because uh, quite a few years ago uh, when Venus was also a uh, top star, top ten star, they played against a man who was, I think, ranked just outside 200-odd in, in tennis and they both played a set against him. He'd spent the morning having... Um, some wine and cigarettes, and he beat them both uh, comprehensively. I think it was like six love, six one or something like that. So the gap between the men and women is enormous, and women are the losers when you pretend there are no differences. So good on Riley Gaines for calling out these top athletes and trying to get them involved in this debate. Uh, Rachel Wong, thank you so much for your time tonight. I always love talking to you.